welcome everyone in this video we will learn about the practical of ms access in the previous video i have told you about the key features of ms access today we are going to the pra practical of ms access as you all know microsoft access is the powerful rdbms that is relational database management software by graphical user interface we can enter data in it or you can say we can save the data in it so let's start how we will open our microsoft access first we have to click on start button then and all programs in all programs we have to go in microsoft office in microsoft office we have to go in ms access so when we open ms access we get this interface this is the first interface of ms access as you can see on right hand side we can give a file name to our database here and whatever type of database we have to make we we have to click on after that create so here are the blank database blank web database recent template sample templates and my templates as i will told you i have told you about the templates templates are built in database which we don't want to build again i will show you the example in my templates you can see or in sample templates will be there here are the some sample templates in which like suppose i am clicking on the faculty and you can see here faculty one name is changed automatically if you will click on create it's loading now you can see here it is already been made so it's a warning if you want to edit this then we can click on enable content now we can add the content here so they are the these are the built in templates like here it is new faculty collective data email add form outlook email report and these are the column faculty id first name last name email address business phone all these columns are already built in so like in your mobile also in messages you get templates in similar ways here also we get a built in database that is a templates now we can close that database i have closed that database now we are going to make a new database that is a blank database in blank database we can make the database by our need so this template is also a one function of feature of ms access so there are the various other features also here like asset contacts issues non profit and projects we will discuss them later on first we will create a blank database this is the blank database here you in a, on left hand side you can see it is a data sheet view database we can design in data sheet view and we can design the database in design view it is totally up to the user like i have explained you about the data types today i will show you how we can add our data types to our data here you can see click to add and a arrow when i will click on this arrow you can see all the data types text number currency date and time yes and no look up and relation 
रिच टैक्स मेमो अटैचमेंट हाइपर लिंक कैलकुलेटेड फील्ड पेस्ट एज फील्ड सो एज पर आर नीड वट एवर वी रिक्वायर्ड इन आर डाटा बेस वी कैन चूज द डाटा टाइप्स सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू क्लिक ऑन टेक्स्ट सो लेट्स सी दिस फील्ड विल ओनली एक्सेप्ट द टेक्स्ट लाइक ए बी सी इफ आई आई एम ट्राइंग टू पुट सम नंबर्स इन इट सो दिस नंबर विल आल्सो बी ट्रीटेड एज अ टेक्स्ट we can't add or sum or we can't do any any calculation on this this is treat this will be treated as a text but when we choose numbers as a field type so like we can fill a number but when we enter the text see here the error is there so whenever we choose our data types only that particular data type we can enter in our field we can't enter the another data type which we have not chosen so whatever we have choose as a data type that data that particular data we have to enter so here is the error the value entered does not match the number data type in this column so this this value will not be matched just because this is a text enter new value we have to enter the new value or convert the data in this column to the text data type if i will click on this this data type will become a text help with the data types and formulas we don't need help we know that what is the error here so what we can do we can enter a new value or we can enter a new value here that particular new value is entered so we can choose the data type from above field here from here we can choose date and time also in date and time we can give the date and time See here, a small calendar is there. By clicking on it, we can see a calendar, and we can choose the date and time, whatever is needed. Like suppose we, I am choosing first of July. It is enter seven one. Okay, this is the one way to. design a database now i am closing this database without saving it and i am creating a new database now this was the data sheet view in which we can see the data now if you want to design a database what you have to do you have to click on view then on design view it is asking for the name of the table as here it is a table one and it is up to your choice you can change the name of the table and you will click on okay it is showing you id this id is the column here on a left hand side all the field name these are the columns name here you can fill the column names like your name in name what type of data type you have you can give you can choose from here you can give text now roll number in data type you can choose the data type to number as your roll number is always in numbers and your name is always be there in text and you can give the description of the field name here it but it is not that much needed and there are the some general properties 
which you can see at the bottom of this pen and in the design pen here you can design your whole database and here the, whatever you are writing these are the columns and you can give the data type here so from here you can give the data type all this work is done in design view design view is made to design a database but you can also design a database in data sheet view but the difference is in data sheet view you can see your data whatever you are writing in design view you can only see the column name and the data types and this file field name cannot exceed more than 64 characters it will take only 64 characters and then you have to choose the data type data types are already built in just you have to select it so this is the way to select the data type in design view now if you want to insert more rows what you can do you can insert it from here directly here above at the ribbon you can see you there is a insert row you can click here you know, insert row that row will be inserted at the top of that particular column if you forgot to make a column then you can insert a row in between here you can see uh, again I am showing you I am deleting the uh, in deleting this row and deleting is also very easy you you can just click on delete row and that row will be deleted and if you want a column in between the name and row number you have to just click on insert row and a new column will be inserted and if you want to delete if you want if you think that you have created this row by mistake you can delete it and if you forgot to that you have a, you have not made any column in between you can make it by the inserting a row so insert or delete row can be done here in design view in data sheet view there is no inserting and deleting of there is no option for inserting and deleting as you can see here name and roll number there is no column in between if you want to add a column in between what you can do you can go in design view and in design view what you can do you can select a cell like roll number and click on insert row a row will be inserted and you can give the name to that particular field suppose class so this is the way how you can insert or delete a row that is a field or a column in design view it is a row but in data sheet view it is a column there is one more concept in your syllabus that is of primary key primary key is a unique key unique key means that can that cannot be duplicated that means it will the digit which we will enter will be a unique that is that can't be repeat that means like your roll number your roll number cannot be repeated serial number cannot be repeated so the key which cannot be the data which is not duplicated in that particular column that will become a primary key how to make a primary key in every database it is required to make a primary key in file tab you can see at the top here is the key is the key sign is there and it is written primary key you have to click on it automatically roll number is make a primary key and you see just on the left of the roll number 
a key is made this key this key shows that roll number is a primary key and if you want to remove this primary key just click on the primary key again and the primary key is deleted but without the primary key we can't make a database so we have to make a one primary key now i am making a roll number a primary key i am clicking here on a primary key it has been made now i am going to data sheet you see roll number is a primary key and i told you that data cannot be duplicated or cannot be same now i am entering a data pause one two three four five now again i am repeating the data see a error is there the changes you requested to the table were not successful because they would create duplicate values in the index primary key or relationship change the data in the field or field that contain duplicate data remove the index or redefine the index to permit to permit duplicate entries and try again what we can do what is he asking us to do we can remove the data form here see now there will be no error if i will write 6 the one way is this and the another way is we can move again to the design view and we can create we have to remove this as a primary key now again we will go in a data sheet view now if we will i am writing a duplicate data it will accept see it has accepted one it has accepted two so there are the ways by which we can enter the duplicate data when we can enter the data in a normal key we, we or what we can do we can remove the primary key for that particular column or what we can do is we can enter the duplicate data in another column if we want to enter a duplicate data in that column we have to remove that column from the primary key so this is the practical for your the first chapter of for, for ms access the ms you the previous video is of theory, theory so watch that video and watch this video this is for your practical and the previous video is for the theory thank you